With Edwin Rodriguez, skipper of the Greensboro Grasshoppers, year number two, about set to get underway. Not too far off. Didn't feel that great outside today. Kind of some rough weather. But Edwin, I bet you're glad to be back in town. This has been a good home to you the past couple of years. Oh, yeah. I'm glad to be back. We had a great year last year uh, on the field and in the front office. Hey, Kevin. And, uh, I'm, I'm glad to be back here with the fans and uh, with the front office and uh, first class uh, facilities. Do you feel like maybe you uh, had some unfinished business when you left last year? You come back maybe with a purpose in mind, some things you want to do with this team? Well, we're going to have a very different ball club this year, a uh, very young team. And uh, we're going to wait and see what kind of play we're going to get. But uh, I'm sure we are, we're going to play the same aggressive, aggressive uh, game that we played last year. And uh, uh, of course, we want to win, but at the same time, uh, we want to develop some big leaders. I guess that's true. It doesn't matter who you have here. You got to take the talent, whatever hand you're dealt. You got to make the most out of those uh, young players. But uh, the talent coming in, from what you can tell, there is some good young talent at the levels you're at right now. And I guess you think at the same time you want to try to mold these players on a winning team because you can uh, go out every day. It gets kind of hot in the summer. Kind of working kind of hard in August, yeah. late in the year. You want you want to be winning ball games. Bottom line. Yeah, you you have. Uh, it's very it's easier when you win. Uh, to teach a uh, yeah, young kid to, to hit, to feel, to pitch. Uh, it's more fun to come to the field when you're winning. So that, uh, although we are in a development, development uh, big leaguers uh, business, we also want to want to teach uh, the winning part of the game. What are some things you'd like to do with this year's team that you weren't able to accomplish with last year's team? Again, it sometimes depends on the talent you have. As a manager going in, what are some things you'd rather do this year maybe as opposed to maybe what you couldn't get done last year here? Well, uh, we would like to put more emphasis on the, on the pitching staff. Uh, but then again, uh, if we got the time, uh, but I'm pretty sure that with John Duffy, working with the pitchers, uh, uh, he's going to develop some, uh, some pitchers there. And uh, with the ability that they bring, the bottom line is when the season is over, we can get better players and better pitchers uh, than when the season starts. So you'd love to find maybe a good young prospect or maybe discover somebody like a, a Graham Taylor who kind of shows up we didn't know much about and just goes out and takes over and goes like an hour and 45 minutes. So this guy's <laughs> kind of show up. You're happy about what he did last year, I know. Yeah, well, uh, everybody was happy about that. Uh, uh, but, uh, but done no more. I mean, he didn't like when right. he had some the fireworks that day and then, uh, the game was over about in the, uh, 7.30. But... Uh, <laughs> but uh, it, yeah, it's hard to find uh, the Graham Taylor, left-handed pitcher with a uh, with a uh, good control and working fast. But uh, hopefully, we can get some young pitching that uh, throw a lot of strikes and uh, being aggressive. Who was our guy last year? Was it Danny Garcia who was at there at shortstop some and second base some? Is he back with you this year? Do you think he'll be back? You're gonna have him in the outfield. You said it might happen. In the last year, he might be with you again. Yes. Uh, well, last year we did push uh, Danny Garcia. He was supposed to go to New York Penn. Uh, to play there, only 19 years old, but he has such a great uh, spring training that we put him here uh, last year, and so he might come back this year. And uh, they might uh, made a transition on him to second base, mm -hmm. so we're going to be working on that during spring training, and uh, so it's going to be good for him to repeat uh, this level. What was that good young pitcher you had last year too? That was just throwing like the the older pitchers he threw with the same amount of velocity. They would throw a lot of heat, but sometimes he had a little trouble with his control and kind of uh, with his spot pitches, I guess. Who was that young man? Is he going to be back this year? We have uh, Rodolfo Encarnacion. I remember him. He threw with some heat, yeah. Yeah, and, and then we also have our Robbers uh, late in the uh, late part of the season. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Encarnacion and Roberts, they're going to be here this year again. Roberts was a college player, wasn't he, he coming was in? He was a college player that he signed last year. He went to New York in Jamestown. He did good there, and then uh, they brought him here, and uh, he, he did pitch a good game for us. Who was that other kid? you got to remember this kid. we got to remember this kid's name. He was with you first part of the year, had some injury trouble, then he came on, pitched yeah. a little while. Who was that guy again? Yeah, we got Hector Correa. Hector Correa, Hector that's Correa. right. Yeah, yeah, he started the season. Uh, with us, and then he struggled a little bit uh, with his confidence. Although the, the 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 speed was there, the fastball was there. Uh, he was throwing a lot of breaking balls. You know, he, he didn't have the confidence to, to pitch with his fastball, which is his best pitch. So we sent him to New York Penn, which uh, he had a great year that that year, last year in uh, New York Penn in Jamestown. 
So you would expect to see him here this year, well, hopefully? I'm pretty sure he's going to be with us this year, and he's for sure he's going to be with one of our uh, starting pitchers. What about uh, Logan Morrison? Any chance that he's uh, taking up uh, boxing or maybe doing some work with Tommy Morrison? I know Logan was a very aggressive young player. That's, that's hard to hold a kid like that back, though, isn't it? I would think he'd be moving up pretty quick. Oh, yeah. I think, I think he's scheduled to start a year in Jupiter, which is a high A. And Logan Morrison is one of the guys that uh, – it was fun to watch him and, and getting better through the season. And uh, the second part of the season, he was a different player out there defensively and offensively. But uh, he, he took a lot of pride on his defense, and he was working every, uh, every day out there on his defense. He became like a team leader. He was only like 19 years old. He was like a guy who stepped up and kind of led the charges at times, wasn't he? Yeah, the little first, uh, first part of the season, he was a little bit timid. And then he went off, and uh, he was a, one of the leaders of the team. Sometimes you have to hold him back because he went he went from one string to the other. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but he was he's only he was only 19. So you know he's gonna be a team leader where, wherever he goes. What about uh, Chris Hatcher? I guess he's uh, ready to move up from this level to the next level. His age probably has a factor in here somewhere. Right, I and mean, his his defensive abilities. I mean, and he's ready to go right now to double A. But I'm pretty sure they're gonna send him to Jupiter. Uh, to work mainly on his hitting and uh, to be more consistent and uh, pretty much the whole team that we had this year, last year uh, they're going to they're gonna move out to to Jupiter. I, uh, yeah, I know a guy like Scott Cousins, I bet he's moving on up too, isn't he? Because he sure had all kinds of promise. Had one of the best arms we ever seen. We used to call him like the cannon for an arm. He could throw guys out from right field and nail them at third base. That was always a, sometimes a harder throw from right field to third base is going from right field to home. And he, he performed that with uh, regularity, the way he could yes. throw guys out. The way he could hit, too, is hitting. He's a guy that had, like, um, almost hit for the cycle a couple of times. Yes, uh, Scott Cousin was fun to, to watch him play last year. The first part of the season, I think that he ended up uh, hitting 218, 220. And then the second half, he took off, and then he, I think he was very close to hit 300. And uh, like you say, you know, he was uh, he's a, what we call a fight tool player. And I remember last year he made some great catch in right field. And uh, he's a guy that uh, you can put up there right there with uh, Carlos Bertrand and those kind of players. Yeah, he and Chris Coughlin would be a couple of uh, young men the Marlins would be very proud of. If they didn't want to keep him for the long term, I'm sure there would be some uh, great trade offers being, being made for young players like those two. Yes, uh, you mentioned Scott Cousin and Chris Coughlin. Those are the guys that, uh, that any franchise can go and uh, and build their team around them. What about, uh, we talked about all the guys from last year, it's a lot of fun having those kids. You did a good job with those kids, you and John Duffy last year. Again, this year it's kind of a wait and see mode right now. Do you feel like you're already into the full baseball mode? Have you already kicked it into the to the mid gear, headed toward the high gear, even though it's still February? You about ready to roll, ready to get this thing going? Well, uh, two weeks after the season was over, I was ready to roll. Well, you so, said you are going to take last year off, didn't you? Yeah, I did too. Yeah, last year off, we didn't have winter ball in Puerto Rico. But uh, for the first time in 28 years, I didn't work in the winter time. So after two weeks back home, I was ready to go, and uh, I've been working with uh, some plans, some schedules, and some uh, approaches that I should be uh, working with the guys. Uh, you know, like like I said uh, before, uh, we're gonna have a very young team, so the approach with them is gonna be different. Got to be more like last year. You had to be like a father to the players this year. You might have to become kind of like a grandfather to some of these kids, huh? <laughs> it's kind of. Uh, we're gonna have to be very patient, but uh, we learned that from the last year, uh, first part of the, the season. We, we're gonna have to do a lot of teaching, and then the second part, hopefully, they're gonna be able to go out there and play the game. One thing about it, Edwin Rodriguez with us, skipper for the Grasshoppers, always a good talker, giving us some good information, good conversation. Edwin, we'll uh, get this up on the website, and all the people in Puerto Rico that want to tune in and follow your uh, whereabouts can track you here. Good to have you on board back in town. Uh, sorry for arriving a little bit late today, but good to have you with us again, and looking forward to a good season. All right, Andy, glad to be back. Thank you.